Okay, if you have the Honorable Tahir on your heels to assess the nominee, I probably want to believe that you've done some reading or some consultations with the sector minister responsible for fisheries. EU regulations and fishing vessels and the fact that Ghana have suffered some penalties, call it sanctions. Ghana has suffered some sanctions in the hands of the EU for unregulated fishing. Can this committee be assured that you will assist the minister to make Ghana take its pride of place? I know the EU have lifted the ban, but they are closely monitoring our performance to regulate the fishing sector well true policy and better legal regime. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think that uh, I will say that um, uh, the previous government did a very good job. The previous government did a very good job in that sector, which eventually uh, led to Ghana being pardoned. At the moment, we have the West Africa um, regional fisheries program that is sponsored by International Development Association. And under the program, we have some money devoted to monitoring our waters, trying to depoliticize most of the things around the distribution of inputs, premise fuel, to our fishing folks. And I hope to work with the minister to see how best we can do that. Obviously, uh, there, there are going to be political Repercussions. I, I have had a lot of discussion with the minister, and she wants to see that the sector and anything that will be an impediment will have to be taken out of the way. Yes, so I'll work with her to make sure that uh, inputs get to the right people and um, for the kind of growth that we want in the sector. Chairman, my last question, since uh, I'm familiar with the nominee, is uh, landing size. Axim, there were many, interestingly, in both the NDC and MPP manifestos, there were pledges of building this uh, landing size. I know that even the NDC had brought in some Chinese loan facility to expand the landing size across the country. And you know that the economic livelihood of the people from the coast depends largely on the uh, fishing. Can you identify two or three areas for us that you are likely to prioritize assisting your minister so that we can check within the next two, three to four years where we can have results that this landing size have been completed and handed over to the fisher folks? Mr. Chairman, thank you. Um, in, the current, in the present budget, there are some provisions to put out some landing site. Um, I'm still studying the documents that have been provided me, but I want to assure you, I've, I've had a lot of interactions with the minister, and so she's very committed. And so I'll lend her my support to make sure that these sites are completed. I'm not able to give timelines, but I'm sure that we'll do that. Very well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you only had one question. Go ahead and then. After that, don't know where we are more. Thank you, Chair. Uh, my question is about fish farming. A few years back, a lot of people invested in fish farming. If I was lured to go into it, but I didn't go into it. But unfortunately, um, the fraught with many difficulties and people lost money, those who invested. You can, if you remember, we have a USA group, people invested a lot of money, but unfortunately the whole thing collapsed and uh, needs to be revamped. What is your, what are your thoughts about how we can revive this uh, industry or let me say uh, culture of fish farming? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, fish farming, no, mainly aquaculture, as we call it, is uh, something that has great potential 
to help this country. Um, I think one of the missions of the, of the ministry is to actually grow this sector so that it become beneficial to Ghanaians. There are some, a lot of opportunities in that area. There is a fingering business. You can just decide I'm going to do fingering, and then at the end of the day, you get your money from there. Or you can decide I'm going to do the feed, or decide that I'm going to do pond or cage fishing. So that is the, if you like, the quantum of opportunities in that area. I, I believe that these days we have been talking a lot about Galamse. And I believe that if we take fish farming to the next level, we can actually use aquaculture to address the Galamse business. Because for instance, if, I have my, if we have fish farms scattered along the river area, I'm sure people within the community will get employment and they also make sure that they don't go into Galamse. Or if somebody wants to use the water, they can protect and secure it. So um, aquaculture is on the table of the ministry of the minister, and I'm, 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 I pray that when I get a nod of this committee, I'll give her my very best to make sure that it doesn't just become something we talk about, but something that can really help us to transform this country and give job opportunities to most of our unemployed youth. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, <coughs> okay. Congress, Mr. Chairman, Congress to uh, uh, member of Mr. Mr. Chairman, uh, Congress to Honorable Francis Atukujo. Um, just before the question, I just want to make a comment that when you in, when you're in Parliament or when you are before a committee and you start using the word assurance, it has a different meaning because you can be brought back to the Parliament to find out whether indeed what you assure the committee will be able to fulfill it. In a month or so, I should be able to come to speed. Um, whatever I don't know, I want to ask to be educated. I want to learn. I want to apply what I've been taught. And so I can promise the, uh, the, the committee that I'm going to learn and then be come to speed on the aquaculture plan, for national aquaculture plan. Thank you. Thanks. The Honorable Minister has not really explain to you the aquaculture plan yet. Well, um, I want to make it easier for you. You've read the MPP manifesto. Yes, yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, what does the manifesto say when it comes to fisheries? M Mr. Chairman, um, I want to Refresh my memory yes. and get back get, to you. Get, give me a copy of the manifesto yes. <laughs> and let him refresh his memory. Do you have your copy there? I do have a copy, Mr. Chairman. You do? Yes, please. Okay, go through it. Uh, not, not here, not here. Please. I'm asking whether you had it here. I'm sorry, Mr. Okay, Chairman. Okay, well, read for him what is there and ask him questions on it. I, at least I wanted to know whether I had a broad idea about what we wanted to do in the fisheries industry, it's, the MPP, that's page 54 of the manifesto, the MPP would implement the following policies for a sustainable and modernized fishing industry, ensure availability as well as the effective and transparent distribution of premise fuel to fisher folk. Eliminate import duties for fishing equipment like nets and outboard motors. Enforce the fisheries management policies, such as those embodied in the Fisheries Act 2002, Act 625, including on pair trolling and other illegal and unapproved fishing methods. Protect our fishing stock by providing patrol boats to stop foreign fishing vessels. Continue with the program of building landing sites and storage facilities as, at places such as Cape Coast, Mumford, Teshi, Azim, Kita, Ada, Jamestown, and Winneba. Restore the Kole Lagoon. Obi, uh, you're not going to ask, ask questions on all of them, so select the ones you want to ask. <laughs> Is that actually really? Uh -huh. It's all points that are really for him. That's a question of where you have read to him. Okay. 
you, you're saying I'm asking difficult questions. So, what do you think we should do to check petroleum? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Chairman, um, talking with the minister and the ministry, um, uh, I want to say that the impression I get is that petroleum is no longer a major problem in the sector. Um, I, I, um, I indicated earlier the good work that the uh, previous government did which eventually got us out of the EU ban, and which program is still continuing. There is a, a patrol team that is always checking. I think that over a lot of people have been arrested and prosecuted. My understanding is that when they started, my understanding is that when they started, about 100 and, almost 120 vessels were arrested. By last year, only 10 vessels were arrested. So yes, the problem we have currently on our hand it's me in the area of um, light fishing. Light fishing, where fishermen use light to fish. They put light in the water, and then when the fish comes around it, they use the net to take them. And this one, you can see that every type of fish will come around, size and everything. So that's a major problem we have. And there's a program under the, what we call IEU, unreport, illegal unreported, unregulated fishing, which is currently running. And together with my minister, we hope that, like I said earlier, um, we can work on this to improve that side too. I think that basically what I believe that we should do is to have continuous engagement with the, the operators in the area. That too. Congratulations. Thank you, Honorable Mr. Chairman. Kinsley, to Kujo. Um, it has to do with the premix fuel. In most cases, when they say premix fuel, they are concentrating on the those who go on on on, on the sea, leaving those inland inland fishers. As I speak to you now, some along the Volta Lake have no premix. What do you do to help make sure that they also have their fair share, their fair share of their premix fuel? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Chairman, I beg to say that it is not accurate. It's not accurate to say, to suggest that um, the fishermen who are doing inland fishing are not factored in the premise fuel distribution. They are, in fact, and indeed, they do receive supplies. I'm aware that just by last week or so, uh, the Honorable Minister directed some people to make deliveries to uh, fishermen on the Volta Lake. But generally, I think that, uh, generally, I think that um, the supplies have not been enough because people from my community, you know, I'm from a fishing community, they are crying, they are not getting their supplies. So we, I, will, I hope to work with my minister to see how best we can ensure that this is a very crucial uh, ingredient in the process, in the fishing process.